Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video, we will discuss uh, nested interfaces. But before we begin, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashraf al-anbiya'i wal mursaleen, Sayyiduna Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawm al-deen, ورد اللهم عنا معهم أجمعين اللهم آمين اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد we begin in the name of Allah, the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter. And we thank him for all of his blessings that he has bestowed upon us, for they are innumerable. And we pray that we follow uh, and uh, we, uh, we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his family, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his family. Amen. Now, with regards to nested interfaces, you must remember that nested interfaces are treated as static inner classes. Of course, interfaces are much different than regular classes, but they are treated in the same fashion as the static inner class, which means that expect uh, you should expect the same syntax as the one we have covered in the static inner classes. Now, with regards to interfaces, we have ideally two scenarios. Either we have uh, an outer interface and an inner interface, so an interface within an interface, that is one scenario. And let me just uh, format this a bit. Or we have an outer class and an inner interface. So we will have an outer class and I can copy this and paste it there uh, uh, by abiding by the rules of the Zahi way. <laughs> well, probably Zahi will start charging me for <laughs> copyright infringement or for royalties. Anyways, okay, let me just drag this upwards so it is clear for everyone. So we have these two scenarios which we will cover in this lecture, insha'Allah, bi'ithnillah, and God willing. Let us first cover the outer and inner interface, then we will cover outer class and inner interface, or of course nested interface, either or. So we will create an interface that I will call... Uh, uh, calculate, perhaps, uh, yeah, let us go with calculate, and within it, I will create, uh, let us say, uh, interface, uh, what should I call this, calculatable, <laughs> there, we will have an interface called calculatable. Within this class, I will add an abstract method called display, or actually, I will simply call it calculation there. So what would be the syntax to access this method? Now, let us take a look and see if we can access it with the same syntax as the static inner class. So we will start with the outer class, dot, the inner class, the object name, we will call it C for simplicity, is equal to new, calculate, calculatable, like so. Now we have a problem here, and that is interfaces do not have, uh, 
do not have um, I, I lost my train of thought do not have constructors yes they do not have constructors which of course yield will yield an error let us see if we can implement the method this method here as the uh, anonymous inner method so we will say at override public void calculation is equal to uh, let us call it uh, oh calculation yep perfect and here we will say this method calculates the parameter of a particular shape now if i invoke this let us see if it is successful it is successful so we can use the static inner class syntax provided that we add to it the anonymous inner class syntax and of course uh, it is best if you use the lambda expression or the arrow operator because uh, 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 interfaces do not have any constructors so and uh, do this oh, wait uh, I forgot you do not need uh, you do not need any of this for the lambda expressions like that and uh, let me just uh, do this you do not even need this yep there we go because it is only one line like that okay is there another method or another syntax that we can use to access an inner interface there is one but that would involve uh, having another class that implements the inner interface so we will create uh, let us say student and here we will say implements the inner inner interface how do i access the inner interface by calling it at the class level because inner interfaces are the same as static inner classes calculate dot calculatable like so and of course it gives me the error because i need to implement the method so here i will say override public void uh what was it called calculation i believe calculation and here i will say a display within the sub class so how would i access this from this that implements this what is the syntax for that as opposed to using this syntax which is also correct as you have seen the syntax will be as follows outer interface or not necessarily outer interface we can say outer class name as a general term because interfaces are considered class types dot inner interface i will leave that as an interface because we have both interfaces here then the object name of the inner interface of course object name and i will probably need to reduce the uh, font size again there we go is equal to the new keyword because now we are using a class and then you put the, the class name that implements the inner interface so here uh, what can we call it uh, implementable class name we can call it that so th and that is a constructor of course so this is the class 
that implements the inner interface from the outer interface or from the outer class. So in this scenario, student. So let us try this new syntax. So we will say um, calculate dot calculatable. We will call it C for simplicity is equal to new student. Then I will simply say C dot what I have available here and <coughs> execute a display within the subclass. So it accesses this implementation because this lacks an implementation as you can see. So it accesses this. Okay, what about the other scenario? What about the other scenario where we have a class and an interface? We will follow the exact same syntax. So instead of having calculate here as an interface, let us create uh, a class. So we will call it person. And within it, we will create an interface known as calculatable, the same as the original one. So we will remove this from play. And here instead, we will put person. And here, uh, let me just copy this and place it here like so. Okay. And we will remove these. So what is the syntax? The outer class dot inner interface. The object name is equal to the class name and uh, new the class name that implements the inner interface. And then of course, see dot the method available like that. And there we go. Exactly the same as the previous syntax. The only difference is this is an actual class as opposed to the previous example, which was an interface. But I left it as class name here because interfaces are considered class types. So I wished to use a general term instead of a more specific term. Then I do not have to type in two lines of syntax to avoid confusing everyone. And that is it with regards to uh, nested interfaces. I hope this lecture was helpful and beneficial to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad. كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد